Hello everyone, Derek here. Most modern cameras have the capability of being more sensitive to light and detail than our eyes can, and that's really helpful when you're trying to photograph things that are so far away that the light from them is barely visible to the naked eye. While we can use techniques like long exposure photography to let more light into our cameras than we can into our eyes, it still doesn't enable them to detect different wavelengths of light. And that's mostly because they're fitted with filters to make sure that the photos they take resemble what our eyes see. But by modifying our cameras and taking these filters out, we can quite literally see our night sky in a different light, it's a different wavelength of light. Now I didn't have the nerve to take my camera apart, but there are folks out there who do this kind of thing for a living. So I've entrusted this Canon uh, DSLR to someone to have that filter removed. It's a Canon 600D. I think that's also called a T3i or a Kiss X5, depending on which part of the world you live in. Now the astrophotographers among you might be wondering why I've gone for a 600D rather than a dedicated astrophotography camera. This is, after all, quite an old model. Canon actually stopped making it back in 2012. Primarily it's because of the price, it's value for money. I picked this one up for a little over £100. And in my opinion, there aren't many dedicated astrophotography cameras that comfortably outperform a DSLR for less than six or seven times that amount. And honestly, if you're looking to buy new or you're looking uh, for a particularly good model of camera, it's easy to spend ten times that or more. So this camera has had a filter taken out that blocks certain wavelengths of light. So what I'm looking for this evening is that the sensor can now detect more of the light that sits right at the far end of the visible spectrum. It's at the red end, right between the boundary of visible red that we can see and the near infrared that we can't. The results? Well, I made a bit of a hash of framing some of the test photos, but there are parts of our night sky that look completely different and show us quite literally a whole new light. It's the light of ionised hydrogen. Hydrogen, remember, is the most abundant gas in our galaxy, and when it strays too close to a powerful star, it gets blasted by radiation, causing it to glow in this wavelength of light. In astrophotography, we call it hydrogen alpha, and it's absolutely beautiful. Thank you. 